So let's take a detailed look at the camera application of the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. This will work, of course, on the Huawei P40 and P40 Pro as well. And with slight different feature set on the older phones as well, like the Mate 30 Pro, for example, that I also tested and showed you a detailed overview of the camera application as well. And of course, it will also work with the Mate 40 series of phones, definitely. So the first thing that you will know is that you have the possibility to start the camera by double tapping the volume down button and it should start the camera directly in ultra snapshot mode. It is disabled to take a snapshot by default, at least on my device. And if you want to uh, change this, you can of course go into your settings and then under ultra snapshot, you can change it from open the camera to take a snapshot directly. It will then also show you how many milliseconds or seconds it took for it to take the snapshot. Let's go out of here. This is a main camera uh, interface. And what you can see here right now is when I have, for example, a little bit of an object here, just like this one, for example, it will automatically go into close-up mode. Let's go out of the close-up mode. This is how it looks like. If I go a bit closer, it uh, I can switch off now. Uh, it will go automatically in the close-up mode. It will show you the mode here and you can see this coin is visible if I take a photo and uh, I can zoom into it. You can see it is clearly visible right now. So pretty nice uh, that it has this uh, auto mode for uh, close-ups. So um, the auto mode works in the yeah, th simple manner that it auto detects if you if something is very very close to it. So we'll go to the close up mode because this sensor size is very big, so it has to have like an extra macro mode that it is switching to. Then we have some different modes here on the right side and some different buttons and configuration options on the left side. We uh, go from the top, which is the settings button that I used before. We have the option to choose a different look. So we have like a standard, we have like a vivid, like a smooth and so on if you have to want to have different looks like for example ND look which is a black and white look uh, you can see now black and white Valencia uh, an older look or a bluish look um, you can see this changes the look and feel and you can play around if you want it then we have the flash settings we have automatically by, de by default it is disabled because even in the night it doesn't need a flash but if you really want a flash because you want to trigger some other flash for example a uh, flash trigger you can just have like flash on here and or automatic which will fire automatic or you can have a lamp on if you want to illuminate something uh, all the time so let's turn it off then we have the master 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 ai mode here which with a small ai symbol is indicated uh yeah I clicked on something. Um, so master AI mode. If I click on this, I can disable the master AI mode. What does it do? So master AI mode uh, recognizes scenes and then optimizes the colors and the rendition to the scene. So if you have an HDR scene, for example, it will automatically take an HDR shot. And the same goes for uh, like this close-up thing. So if I disabled it right now, it should not go into close up. Yeah, it's not going into close up. So if I go a bit closer, you can see it gets unsharp. So this is the master AI mode. So it will uh, enhance colors and uh, boost colors a little bit. And it will go to close up mode, as you can see here right now. And uh, yeah, if you want more natural colors, maybe you want to disable the master AI mode. Because after you took a shot, let's take a shot of this here in close up take a shot I'm not sure if you can disable the master AI mode so there's no way I don't see an option to disable the master AI mode there were some uh, honor phones where you can disable the master AI effect so the, the mm, uh, effect uh, of the colors the punchier colors and so on could be disabled then we have the lens mode here so-called AI lens if you open it up the first time it will ask you for permissions and agreeing to all the settings and allowing it to um, use it and here is the explanation of what it can do it can identify objects it can translate stuff for you it can shop stuff for you so basically it's yeah what google lens is uh, on uh, google android smartphones and let's get started you can see we are in the shopping mode we have the calories mode so you even have like if you have something to eat it will show you the calories 
uh, we have the translation mode and we have a code scanner as well so pretty nice uh, little features um, uh, then we have a moments mode here moving picture on master ai disabled so if you have uh, this on this is this little symbol here it will yeah, create a little clip like a gif animation of uh, something so i don't know if i hold it in my hand and then you can see it has a countdown and then uh, you can see this photo click on moment and it is a little bit moving so it is like a little gif clip but if you use this it will disable the master ai mode so you can see master ai is disabled here if i turn this on so uh, moments moving picture so those are the left now let's go to the right one the different modes we are in photo mode by default we can go to portrait mode so if you want to photograph a uh, moving subject a person uh, the portrait mode not a moving subject a person then this uh, portrait mode is uh, quite good then we have the night mode for night shots so it has a little countdown so it's very very dark you can take night shots if you want to have uh, like an object and you want to have some background blur that you want to artificially add to it let me try this with this not standing still let me try something else maybe this object here for example you can see it zooms in two times you can zoom out again and uh, try to take the shot now hope you can see it still a bit i can choose the f-stop number so i want to have a very low f-stop f2.4 for example it's of course virtual because there's no no possibility for me to crew uh, to control the aperture click a photo click on and you can see it's completely unsharp <laughs> it didn't work out but we can of course adjust this um, later on like to 4.0 it's working now we can open up the aperture we can uh, tune, tune it down so after you took the shot you can still change the depth of field but even if I show yeah it's just like unsharp um, it didn't work in this case so let me go back and try it again maybe click here just have to point four hold it a little bit steady I think it's loading the image I think here now it worked as you can see here we have this nicely in focus and you can see the edges are slightly out of focus because we are in f2.4 and you can see also the background blur here so it's adding an artificial blur effect and you can of course change this artificial blur effect and make it a little bit closer here you can see the background gets more in focus if i do this and you can also see it here with the led lights that are in the front of the case now they are in focus uh, now they are a bit unfocused so a very nice effect that you can do that works uh, usually pretty nice aperture effect now let's go to video mode video mode is pretty much self-explanatory the only thing that you will notice is that it will switch to the wide angle lens this has something to do with the cine lens that's on the uh, back uh, which one is it this one the topper uh, top one the cine lens here uh, which is the one that has is optimized for video mode so this is why it's switching to the uh, cine lens by default when i'm going to video mode of course you can go to the one times uh, one if you want to but if you want to record a vlog or something like this and you hold it like this uh, then the wide angle lens makes a little more sense so this is this in the cinema mode or in the video mode you only have the option to choose the look again you have the various different looks here that you want to i think black and white is also sometimes the nd or impact one is also pretty nice sometimes depending on what you want to present and of course you have the option to turn an led light on which is nice if you want to do product shots and to show something very very clearly like this one here let me do like a little product shot like pan and you can see more clearly the led lights for example or uh, something else so uh, this is how it looks like so pretty nice if you want to emphasize something on close-ups or something like this and you have of course settings for the video mode as well but these are the general settings of uh, the camera application where you can set photo settings like the aspect ratio you can set four to three one by one or full screen oops or full screen 
and uh, audio control you have the option to turn audio control on audio control means like you say cheese and it will take a photo or you speak loudly to take a photo so pretty nice for this as well you have capture smiles so if you detect a smile it will automatically capture a photo and uh, then we have the radio resolution pro uh, options you can see that by the way aspect ratio only you don't have the uh, uh, possibility to change the megapixels that the photo will take uh, but uh, later uh, something more to this the video resolution you can change between 4k 1080p 1080p 16 by 9 is recommended and you have also a full screen one if you want to have more cinematic like feeling but also cinematic 20 by, by 9 is uh, available for at least 1080p and 4k is only 16 by 9 available and it has some other notes here what it will disable when you enable some certain features then you can change the frame rate automatic 30 frames or 60 frames per second i would really wish to you know, huawei for uh, 24 frames per second and maybe also 50 frames per second and 25 frames per second because we are in uh, europe uh, some people in europe like to use 25 uh, frames per second and 50 frames per second then we can um, change the video format to HEVC, so H.265. Uh, it's called efficient video format here in the settings. Uh, okay, I was a little bit too slow talking. Then we have assistive grid that we can turn on. If I turn it on, you can see that there's now a grid and you can use the rule of thirds to place your subject into that. So this is a pretty nice uh, option. Then we have horizontal level, also pretty nice, which will show you uh, your horizontal level if you're uh, horizontally aligned or not. Uh, very good if you want to shoot uh, beach, sunset or something like this. You can set a timer if you want to, two seconds, five seconds and 10 seconds. This timer option, I really, really, really wish. I think it is, it should be in the photo mode as well, like some little button that you can press for timer mode. Otherwise, every time going to settings and change the timer is a little bit cumbersome, I have to say uh so timer mode then we have a mirror reflection front camera only uh so if you are in the front camera uh, boom boom there we go that's me Ooh, i look like super fat because i'm filming myself from above uh, from uh, down under there uh here i can change if i want to have a mirror reflection or not so let's go back and uh, we have the watermark so automatically you set a Leica watermark on all photos that are taken by default off very good I think Xiaomi is uh, turning it on by default so uh, good that Huawei doesn't have it on but if you like to have it for taking sample shots for example it makes a lot of sense um, like if I want to t do a camera review if it has like a uh, watermark and I don't have to like figure it out uh, with which camera I took this photo and especially in a comparison it's pretty nice um, it's deactivating the camera if I don't touch too much here and uh, yeah mute for for not having any shutter, shutter sounds and so on and location tag for having like uh, tags for location and the ultra snapshot snapshot mode so this these are the settings let's go to the pro mode the pro mode in um, pro mode is not only available as a photo mode but also as a video mode so we have the option to change the valve balance we have a custom option where i can set the kelvin number to set my valve better very professional i would say we have a focusing option to set to manual focus but sadly no like you can see what's in focus right now because i'm very close up but if you're out and about um, focus speaking would be pretty nice so huawei if you're listening ah focus speaking i want it so uh, we have exposure compensation here as well and we have the shutter speed that we can set from automatic to whatever we like to so especially if you uh, want to have like street photography fast snapshots you don't want to it go to uh, too much down you can go into the um, uh, pro mode and set it to 1 100 over 125 and then it would uh, fire pretty much uh, fast you can also set the iso if you want to but you can leave it to automatically if you only want to s set the shutter speed and then just uh, ah, i'm missing a button here for this <laughs> pro mode sorry too much sony phones in the last couple of days but then it will fire pretty quickly and you can see uh, it didn't really focus stuff uh, uh, in general this is pretty nice and of course you have also the metering mode that you can set up here very different modes. i think this is a mid kind of metering this is like the mixed metering so it takes everything into account and this is spot metering so 
whatever you point to it will change the um, um, the, the highlight like here it will get a bit darker here get a bit, a bit go into the dark one and get a bit brighter and so on here a bit darker again so this is this um, this option yeah metering modes and the cool thing is you can go into here and say high res mode which will take 50 megapixels in pro mode so you have all these options all those megapixels that you can use and then pew, hit it go in here and now you have 50 megapixels to play around with and you can zoom in and in and in and you can see how much details there are so pretty nice i would say so if you want to do like if you don't have a macro lens but you can just because it's close up and 50 megapixel and then pew, and you can see every every little bits and details of this little uh, yeah option here and you have a pro mode for a video as well so you can click on this little video now you're in pro mode of video uh, sadly not everything can be controlled like for example i would like to control the shutter speed but the shutter speed is the one thing that disappeared here huawei why do you do this to me i want to control the shutter speed so i have like one over 60s um or one over 50s depending on yeah, one over 60s uh shutter speed but it disappeared so i can only set the white balance between the different various white balances and i have the custom one as well again pretty nice and uh, focus as well can focus here on various different things uh, very nice that there's a focus mode available and of course ev again exposure control and iso i can set at least and i can set this the metering system as well but one important thing the shutter speed is gone now yeah uh, it's a pro mode you have also in the pro mode the possibility to switch between all the lenses which is very nice and of course you can change uh, the color profile but for some reason in the pro mode you only have a like a standard like a vivid and like a smooth in video mode which is mm, why now yeah so this is possible you have also also of course an info mode where it will talk you through all the oops all the settings and uh, after the pro mode we go to more and more it will likely be too much for you but you have a chrome monochrome mode if you want to take monochrome photos you have a monochrome mode extra where you can choose different mode normal one the aperture mode uh, that we had before uh, the portrait mode to take portrait shots or the pro mode that you can use in monochrome which is uh, pretty handy i would say so then we have hdr mode uh, why is it an extra mode i don't know but if you want to force HDR, you can do it in an extra mode. So we'll use this HDR. If you want to photograph documents, the master AI usually takes care of it. Uh, do I have any document here that I can show you? I can photograph maybe this piece of church material that I have here. Feed a family for Christmas. And if I go to document, what you can see, it's, it's saying analyzing and uh, hopefully it will figure out that this is a document and yeah i think it had some lines around it uh, let me take a shot yeah i took a shot of this and you can see it is like uh, here the shot and i can go into document mode and can then change what is the part of the document and the cool thing is like it will then uh, okay analyze this and we'll try to correct it a little bit and you have then the uh, uh, possibility to save it as a document this is pretty handy if you want to scan in some uh, documents you don't have a scanner or something like this you can use your smartphone for this so this works pretty nicely uh, the document scanner mode uh, let's go back to more again and uh, let's try something else we have the high-res mode again it's a pro mode basically with 50 megapixels but uh, there's no master AI possible here it's the same as in the pro mode you can shoot high-res pictures you have a panorama mode you have light painting light painting various different options i already showed uh, this to you like traffic trails uh, light graffiti where you can simply use an led to to do uh, light graffiti silky water or star trails which is also pretty nice you want to photograph the stars and we have uh, stickers which uh, if i change the camera could work like this today is wednesday for example which work like this 
and if you go to more mode uh, dual view where we can have like the zoomed in camera and the uh, wide angle one and i can even zoom in if i want to like use the uh, 3.5 times zoom or even 11 times zoom to show something uh, close up so that's the dual view dual view and uh, slow motion of course we have of course also slow motion so we have the possibility to slow mo here 256 times which is 7000 800 680 fps ideal for explosive moments and by default it's like 960 fps which is like super super slow motion and super cool and uh, under more we have also ar lens and now it begins with such things here and uh, i like the penguin because i'm a linux user and i like to be the penguin so now i can talk here and it will detect it as you can see ar mode so ar stickers then we have time lapse mode of course self explanatory you can take time lapses even with the selfie cam interesting uh so time lapse modes and we can go to more again and we have underwater mode so if you have an underwater housing uh you have the possibility to use these buttons for uh for creating underwater pictures mm, also pretty nice these are all settings yes you can download more uh, but by default like stickers and documents are added already so these are all settings we've gone through all the settings of the huawei p40 pro plus uh pro mode one thing that i didn't show you is a picture of me where i look like i'm a bit drunk no uh is the golden snap mode so if you hold down the shutter button and taking a photo it will take different snaps and what you have then is they're all stacked up and as you can see here i have all the stacked up photos here i can scroll through them i took uh some of them some of them i was likely a bit besoffen uh a bit drunk but here you can see there's a little thumbs up this is what the golden snap mode is so it automatically detected which is the best snap and you can click on it and you can say oh hey i look good in it wow <laughs> unexpected and then can say save you can save all the other photos or only the selected photo because i'm now i don't want a drunk photo of me i save only the selected photo and you can see i have a smile on my face so it should be a good photo so that's it uh, this is the walkthrough, detailed walkthrough of the uh, camera app of the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. If you have questions, you can ask them in the comments section. And what do you like more? Such a walkthrough where I go through all the different steps or you want uh, some yeah, uh, more practical tips and tricks. So I walk outside and take some shots and so on. With the Huawei devices, usually <laughs> you just go into photo mode you click on you get the best shot but of course you have a pro mode where you can set up everything the way you like it and uh, yeah pretty nice indeed uh, for people who want to take uh, yeah professional photos and also the video mode the only thing missing in the video mode is the shutter speed otherwise it would be very very handy and useful to use as well uh, what's this here af assist light on so you can turn it on and off wow i didn't even know that there's af assist light uh, anyway you have also a raw mode in the pro mode so you can um, save raw files and edit them later on the way you like it so it is a proper raw uh, proper pro mode on the huawei p40 pro plus i hope you enjoyed this overview and detailed overview of the huawei p40 pro plus uh, camera uh, app if you have some questions if you have some tips on how to use it or if i missed something very important you can uh, write it down in the comment section that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye